Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And here we are for yet another unboxing and general overview of another pocket knife. So 30 days ago, I bought a Civivi Elementum pocket knife off of Amazon. Really is a wonderful knife. It's got a nice blade. It's got a nice sharp edge. It's thin. It's lightweight. It's about perfect for a uh, pocket carry or EDC um, pocket knife. And uh, the blade is actually short enough that if it is in my pocket and it is covered, it's not considered a concealed weapon under Nebraska law. But it has a, there's a couple things it doesn't have that I really missed that I kind of wish I could have had on, on my current EDC. So anyway, my previous EDC before the Civivi was this Emerson Kershaw 6055 WMX CQC 4K XL. But the problem with this is that the blade is over three and a half inches long, it's almost four inches long, and if this is in my pocket and it's covered, unfortunately it's considered to be a concealed weapon. Uh, apparently the lawmakers in Nebraska forgot that Nebraskans have to wear coats for about six months out of the year. Well, most of us at least. So anyway, I decided to invest in the little brother of this Emerson Kershaw knife. I also really miss the, uh, the wave deployment system that the Civivi doesn't have. Uh, what this is, is when this is in your pocket, you pull back on it and the blade just, it, I'm not gonna say automatically, but the blade catches on the corner of your pocket and the blade comes out. So it doesn't have any kind of a mechanical assist to it. It's just a really nice system for basically one-handed deployment. But again, with the blade, the length that it is, I have to reserve this for summertime use or non-concealed use only. All right, so now we're going to check out the knife I'm gonna use to replace it. So what we have here is the Kershaw Emerson CQC 6K folding pocket knife with a 3.25 inch D2 stainless steel blade which keeps it well within the bounds of Nebraska law. Uh, manual opening, G10 handle, and the model is uh, 6034D2 if you're looking it up. I paid $40.79 for it and we're gonna see just how it is. We'll kind of compare it to my previous, uh, my earlier EDC and see if it's very similar to it. The design looks about the same. So in the box you do get some, it looks like some extended screws and I think these are necessary if you want to reverse the uh, clip for the opposite side for uh, draw. Either that or they're just simply replacement screws. Uh, the only problem I really had with my old Emerson is I did have a screw that came out of here. So I put a little bit of Loctite in those two screws and the, the clip hasn't moved ever since then. But about every two months or so I used to have to tighten those screws every single time. So thread locking compound's not a bad idea. Okay, there's a little bit of heft to this, uh, to this knife. Again, the design. You can see the similarities between the two. Kind of wish it had a, a black clip on it, but that's okay. You do have a lanyard hole down here on the bottom. This has got more of a, almost like a galvanized steel kind of look to it. Um, this is just more of a brushed, almost brushed nickel finish. This is maybe a little more sophisticated. This is a little more raw. And I think that this is just a, this is not a D2 steel blade. I'm not sure exactly what the steel was, but I know it's not D2. So the big thing about this one is you've got D2 steel, which holds a good edge. Uh, not quite as fancy as some of the other blades that are out there but uh, it does come factory sharp and the finish is very similar. Just a little bit less shiny up on the top here, but you can see the similarities between the two. Now overall length is not an issue, it's all about the blade length here in Nebraska. Got a little bit more of an aggressive curve on the front than what we have with the, uh, the lower Kershaw. So let's go ahead and put this in our pocket and I'll show you guys how this pocket deployment system works, the wave deployment system, it's really nice. The only thing you need to remember is if anybody would ever pull the knife out of your pocket, you know, say you're being searched or whatever, uh, you want to let them know that this knife is going to pop out as soon as they pull it out so they don't cut themselves or cut you. All right, let's go ahead and put this in our pocket and we'll show you what it looks like when you test it out. All right, so there's a picture of the knife in the pocket or the video of it. So we'll go ahead. What you do when you pull, you want to pull towards the back and the clip is going to catch on this seam right here in your jeans and the blade is going to open, okay? So my old knife, it had a much more aggressive wave on it, this Kershaw. This is my bigger Kershaw, which just pops right out. So it is really, really easy to use. After a couple of uses, it does smooth out a little bit too. It takes just a little bit of break in. And that's it. So you can pull it out if you need to without having to use a second hand. Okay, you do get a full uh, instruction manual that tells you everything you need to know about it. In case I had mentioned, and I think I did, it's the uh, G2 or G10 style grips. It covers all the information. Did you talk about how to sharpen, which is really nice, really nice. A lot of the knives I purchased don't give you that information at all, how to put the proper grind on them and stuff. And it does have a limited lifetime warranty. And Kai USA owns Kershaw and a few other knife companies. And I've heard that they do stand behind their products. If you have any problems, you can give them a call, which is really nice too. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the overall package. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, sharpness of the knife and see how it is. Oh, one thing I really like about this 
is this notch that's in here. Uh, this is definitely much more comfortable for gripping, okay? Whereas my old one just kind of had this kind of this curve into it. So it does have that scallop in there. And there may be something a little more similar to this particular knife that's smaller, but this was the closest thing I could find uh, online to it, and I really did miss that design. But I mean, overall, it's very well built. Real quick, let's check out the centering. I have not done any adjustments to it. The centering is actually, you might not be able to tell by the angle of the camera, but it's perfect. There were a few people complaining about it, but something you have to understand is that there's tension here from this lock that's pushing on the blade. So right now it keeps the, uh, keeps the lock into place, it keeps the blade into place. And if you move it back and lock it, this whole little bar does rest up against the blade a little bit. So it can cause it to go offset just a tiny bit, but I'm not much of a knife piercer and really I don't care. But uh, overall, I mean, the build quality is nice and solid, right? So uh, as usual, got to do the little paper cutting test, the edge out of the box. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I think my Civivi was maybe just a little bit sharper, but this is, I mean, you can see it's got a nice grind on it. It's got a nice clean edge. It's not bad at all. I'm trying to get you guys the best light I can for reflection there. It's kind of a kind of a thick blade, <laughs> but it is nice and sharp. It just goes right into it here. Let's try this. There we go. Just kind of drag a little bit. Makes a nice sharp edge in the paper. There you go. Okay, and of course we have to do the uh, ever important, you know, gorilla paw shaving test. So let's go ahead and see if it'll take off some of the hair. Yeah, we might need to take a stone to this one just a little bit. I wouldn't say it's super duper sharp, but it is definitely giving me a bit of a bare spot there. So yeah, we're gonna go and run this one into the rotation and see how it holds up. I'll give you guys updates on it, just like I did on the old knife. And I think that's about it. So here you go, guys, my general overview and unboxing of the Emerson CQC 6K with the D2 steel blade. And again, it seems to be, uh, seems to be pretty decent, ready to go. And it does show you all the adjustments and stuff you can make to it in the instruction manual. So there we go, guys, that is my take on the Kershaw CQC 6K D2. Definitely seems like it's going to be a pretty good uh, knife. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check me out over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also over on uh, GunTube.org and GunStreamer and YouTube. I also do a little podcast on Thursday nights from 6 to 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time called Caliber Corner. It's a good show. We focus on one particular firearm or line of firearms. We talk about them for a while, firearms that either I've owned or shot on the channel. And then we also do another podcast, a Weekend Edition Caliber Corner at 8 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you check it out where we talk guns and ammo and pretty much a little bit of everything. So anyway, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.